Welcome back to Brush and Overlay Cafe. Today's tutorial is all about a lesser known tool in Photoshop. Maybe you didn't know you needed it. It's called the Slice Tool. You can use the Slice Tool for lots of different things, including dividing images into equal parts for social media carouseling or printing. It's also perfect for exporting multiple assets at once. You can break down large images for faster loading, it's great for creating clickable buttons, and for web design, it lets you export individual sections of an image for websites. The Slice tool is nested here with the Crop tool. Click and hold the Crop tool to reveal it in the flyout menu. The keyboard shortcut is C. Under Styles, if you choose Normal, anywhere you click and drag will become a slice. Now the part that's outlined in yellow is my slice. That's called a user-generated slice because I'm the user and I generated that. A user-generated slice is also tagged in the corner with blue. Photoshop will automatically fill in the rest of the image with auto-generated slices. Auto-generated slices are tagged with gray in the corner. All of the slices are also numbered. You can also choose a fixed aspect ratio. I'll select a ratio of four to three. Now when I click and drag, each slice has the ratio of four to three. And Photoshop readjusts the auto-generated slices each time I add a new user slice. The final style option is fixed size. I've typed in 300 pixels by 2400 pixels. So now when I click, each slice will be 300 by 2400. And again, Photoshop will fill in the gaps with auto-generated slices. You can also create slices from guides. First, make sure the ruler is visible by going to view in the toolbar and select rulers. Click and drag guiding lines from the ruler according to where you want to slice your image. Then click Slices from Guides. Each slice is tagged with blue, indicating that they're all user-generated slices. You can also create slices from layers. I have the cup on the top layer and the reflection on the bottom layer. I'll click on the top layer, go to Layer, scroll down to new layer based slice that created a manual or user generated slice out of the top layer to delete a slice click inside the slice you want to delete right click and select delete the keyboard shortcut for this is either the backspace button or the delete button you're only able to delete user generated slices not auto generated ones but what if you need to delete an auto-generated slice? You can do that and other edits with the Slice Select tool, which is also nested within the Crop tool. Here you can select any of the slices and when you do, the border will change color indicating that it is selected. Notice when I select my user-generated slice, a bounding box appears. I can use this to resize the slice. Holding down the shift key allows you to move one side at a time. You can also move the slice. The shift key allows it to move in a straight line. In order to be able to edit the auto-generated slices, just click on the slice you want to transform and use the promote button to promote it to a user-generated slice. The tag in the corner will turn blue indicating that this is now a user-generated slice. Now it can be edited in all the same ways including deleting the slice. Another thing you can do with slices is divide them. Click on the slice to select it and then click the divide button. I'm gonna divide mine horizontally into two even slices and vertically into two even slices. Or you can choose to divide into a certain number of pixels per slice. Now let's save our slices. Here I have one single user generated or manual slice. All the rest have gray tags and those are auto generated. I'm going to click on my user generated slice to select it and then go to file, export, save for web. That brings you to this screen where you can see all the slices. The one I've selected is in the middle and the rest are grayed out. Click on save and here you can choose your folder and file name. Under Format, you have three options, HTML and Images, Images Only, and HTML Only. 
I'll choose Images Only. Under Slice, we also have three options. We can save all slices, all user slices, or selected slices. I'll choose Selected Slices and click Save. Photoshop automatically created a new Images folder where I'll find all of my saved slices. So if I open it up, there's my saved slice. You can also save many different slices all at once. Here I have 11 slices comprised of both manual and auto-generated slices. To save these, again, I'll go to File, Export, Save for Web. And if I scoot back, you can see we've got all 11 slices. None of them are selected. You can either hold down Shift and manually select the slices you want to save, or instead of that, you can just click Save right away. I'm going to name this one Giraffe Slices. And under Slices, select All Slices. Click Save. And now inside that same Images folder, you'll find every slice saved as its own file.